Hi friends of Cocktails! As you see, the summer is here, so I was in the mood for a refreshing and creamy dessert cocktail. Let me paint the picture. You're walking the streets or cruising the canals of Venice, Italy. There's gelato on every corner, but you're in the mood for sorbet. Prosecco bottles are opening left and right. Somebody's brought a bottle of Italian gin. There's of course plenty of lemons and herbs, because Italy. And there's a cocktail born from all those things. This Groppin. Sounds good, right? You'll also take a zero-waste approach with watermelon rinds from the previous episode. It's getting pretty hot, so let's go back to the studio so I can show you how to make it. And pour myself a refill. It's cocktail time. The Sgroppino, or is it Sgroppino? It's a frozen cocktail derived from Venice. Originally, it's made with lemon sorbet, vodka, and prosecco. Mix it all up, and you have an ultimate summer refresher and a wonderful digestivo cocktail. It's just a fancy way of saying it hits the spot after a big meal. But this is cocktail time, so we'll make it our own way and swap in some ingredients, including sustainably made homemade sorbet with watermelon rinds, lemon, and herbs. Prosecco stays where it is, but we'll swap the flavorless vodka with a more interesting spirit, Malfi Gin con Limone. This uses two types of lemons from Italy, so it will give us back some of the zesty citrus notes from the original sorbet. Before I show you how to make the sorbet, I need more watermelon rinds, so just give me a second as I turn back the cocktail time for one week to grab the leftover rinds from the previous episode. If you watch me make Smoky Worm 2.0, you'll know what happens next. Pickle them, use them in a stir fry. Perfect. Hey, best given. Do you mind if I take the rinds? What? No. I know you don't. I'm from the future, and this already happened. I was just being polite. Thanks, man. Oh, and just a heads up, you might want to ask the people to comment on their favorite part of the video to help its performance. See you all next week. It's good to be back. I think I didn't change anything about the past, other than creating less waste, and with your help, helping cocktail time episodes perform better. Thank you. Now, here we have our ingredients for the sorbet. Watermelon rinds, which will peel and juice, lemon for juice and peels, mint, thyme, sugar, and xanthangum. So let's just start with preparing the liquid base for the sorbet. Juiced watermelon rinds. Make sure the rinds are washed and clean before you start peeling them. Also make sure you don't cut your fingers. The green parts have a lot more bitterness, which we don't want in the sorbet. But the other parts taste somewhat similar to the cucumber and it too has a ton of health benefits, so it would be a waste to just toss them. For now, start by juicing them. If you don't have a juicer, you can use a blender set to the highest speed, then strain the juice. But our trusted juicer does a great job, every time. Then comes the lemon. Peel one first, because we need 14 grams of lemon peels, with their rich essential oils. Ok, a bit more than one. Just go for 14 grams. Now juice the lemons. We need 200 grams of lemon juice. This would be a great time to use super juice, and you could even skip adding the peels separately. With the juices squeezed, we can start adding everything, except xanthan for now. Starting with equal weights of watermelon rinds juice and lemon juice, 200 grams of each. As mentioned, the lemon peels will also give the sorbet some more citrus notes. And since this still has to be a dessert, we need to add sugar, equal weight as the liquids, 200 grams. And lastly for now, fresh herbs, 1.2 grams of thyme and 0.6 grams of mint leaves. This will add a subtle layer of complexity, pairing well with the other flavors. After blending everything thoroughly, it's time to strain out the herbs and peels, so pour it over a fine mesh strainer. This was done in no time, and then I poured the liquid back into the blender and added xanthan gum. Xanthan helps with the creaminess we're going for, without adding any dairy products, like milk or cream. Blend again to get it nicely mixed in and dissolve. We still need to make this into a sorbet, and you could do this by placing this in a bowl and in the freezer and stirring it up every few hours. 
I'll use an ice cream maker, so I just want to chill this a bit before. While we wait, I can answer everyone's burning question. What is sorbet anyway? A sorbet, also called water ice, is a frozen dessert made from sugar sweetened water with flavoring. Typically fruit juice, fruit puree, wine, liquor or honey. Sorbets generally do not contain dairy ingredients. What sherbets do? Interesting. Let's pretend a couple of hours have passed and continue making our sorbet. This has been chilling in the freezer for about 24 hours, so the whole bowl is cold enough to chill our sorbet mixture. This process will take about 40 minutes. Again, let it do its thing. And when it's over, transfer to a container that can go in the freezer to solidify a bit more. With that, you have your own sorbet and you're ready to make the cocktail. You can experiment with the flavors of your own sorbet and you'll be able to make unique Scrupini cocktails. Today we'll make the cocktail time Scrupino. With this cocktail using Prosecco, you of course won't be shaking, because I want the cocktail in the glass, not on the walls. I'll use a whisk to mix it up, but first add the ingredients into a mixing glass, starting with 30 ml or 1 oz of gin malfi con limona. If you don't have this, use a gin that's not super juniper forward. If you are in the US, get it on Coriada. Next, 3 small scoops of our sorbet, I'm aiming for 90 grams. Measure out Prosecco as well, which I wouldn't do usually, but this will be whisked, so it's ok. I added 90 ml. And lastly, 2 drops of saline solution, to brighten up the citrus notes of the Sgropin. Now just make sure it's nicely mixed and everything is well incorporated. And for the final touch, add a little cocktail time garnish. Get it? Cabel. You could make a batch of this cocktail ahead of time and place it in the freezer, so it's ready to go when you need it. Cheers! Fresh aroma of lemon, herbs and sparkling wine gives way to the pleasant bitterness of gin, which is nicely paired with hints of watermelon rinds. Prosecco is interestingly the main player, but the whole cocktail has a silky smooth mouthfeel. A wonderful dessert cocktail that should find its way to your next summer party. Before I go, I'll just ask you to check if you're like Owen. Owen enjoys cocktail time and is always really interested in the stuff we make on the channel. He was actually so focused on the content, he forgot to subscribe. Check below if you're doing the same thing as Owen and subscribe to join the cocktail time family. And hit the bell because we've got a special episode coming up with a guest you've seen clips of before. Salute!